What is up, YouTube fans? It is time for another Vapetastic Voyage with your boy, Mr. B. And tonight we are going over part one of part two. Part one, well, part one of two parts of the review on Outer Vapes out of North Carolina where I went on vacation. They have three store locations. They have the one in Kill Devil Hills, which is their master shop. Uh, that's where they uh, take care of the juice making and so forth. They also have a shop in Manteo and a shop in Grandy. I had the uh, I had the pleasure of speaking with Nicole, the store manager of Kill Devil Hills, and Ron, the husband, the mixologist of the company, and Christine, I did not get to meet, who is the owner of the company, who is Ron's wife, but we spoke on the phone and got things underway with doing stuff for review and getting this lovely shirt here. I like this shirt. I like it a lot. My outer vape shirt. Um, I got 10 of their Max VG line flavors. I'm going to do five of them reviewed tonight and five of them on another day. And let's see here. What we have are all 15 mil bottles here. Good for sampling. And give me one second here. We gotta do a just okay. There we go. Anyway, on your bottles, you can get them in uh, zero, three, six, twelve, or eighteen milligram. Labels look like so. They're just simple bottles. It says uh, www.outervapes.com, which is where you can order all this great juice. This juice is phenomenal. All of them are pretty damn good, and I'm pretty much out of all of them already. And it's only been two weeks since I've been gone. And they have a born on date on the bottom. Tells you when they were bottled. They do have child resistant locking caps. Alright, the flavors I'm going to go over tonight are Dragon Tail, which is said to be dragon fruit, but it tastes like, um, it tastes like sweet tarts or smarties to me. You got Oliver's Twilight, which is a kiwi, blueberry, strawberry, pineapple, and whipped cream. We have Blue Crumble, which is a blueberry cheesecake. We have Primitive Custard, which is just your vanilla custard. And we have Strawberry Dankish, which is like a Intamin Strawberry Danish Roll. All these are fantastic. Um, I kind of did pick out my favorite ones to do for the first review, but I do like all of them. All the other ones are great, but these are absolutely at their minimum, pretty much. I vape through all of them. So, prices. Let's go over prices. These 15 mil bottles are $10.99 each. They sell them in 30 mil bottles for $15.99 each, and they sell them in 120 mil bottles for $47 even. And you can order those at www.outervapes.com and get this delicious juice line sent right directly to your doorstep. What do I got in here first? I have the uh, strawberry dankish in here. Get a little bit more. Uh, one thing to note about the strawberry dankish. If you have not watched the video or have not tried mech shakes, which is conveniently right here on the table, not on purpose, but Mech Shakes is 30 bucks for a 60 mil bottle. Uh, upon trying the um, Strawberry Dankish, I noticed that it's the same flavor. So, if you like Mech Shakes or Strawberry Milk Shakes or Ice Creams or whatever, uh, Strawberry Dankish is the exact same flavor as Mech Shakes. So, if you're looking for a budget and a good juice, and if you've had that or you like it, try this. It's great, and it's way cheaper. You're going to save, um, what are you going to save there? Actually, you're not really going to save much. Same price. 30 bucks for 60 mils. But, you can get $47 uh, dollars worth of it, and that's 120 mils. 
So check that out. Still, it's the same exact thing. It's pretty good. Very, very good. On the inhale, you get sweet, whipped creamy, strawberry, um, just, just, mmm, it's just good. It's just really good. It's just got a nice candied strawberry, whipped creamy, slight hint of pastry in there. Um, but it overall to me tastes like a strawberry milkshake kind of like from McDonald's or something like that um, It's it's really really good This one's like my top three out of all ten of them. I Enjoy it very much Hang on one second. I'm sweating like a freaking dog in heat because it's 95 degrees in Baltimore today, and the shed has been roasting all day. And another shout out to all three of them, Nicole, Ron, and Christine. Thank you all very much for hooking Vaping with Mr. B up with this review. I wanted to touch base with a couple companies down there. Like I said, I got a hold of two of them. I got a hold of them, and I got a hold of uh, Vape Hatteras. Haven't got anything from them yet. I don't know how that's working out, but right here, we got the real deal. The, uh, the king of the Outer Banks in vaping is Outer Vapes with three stores, Mantio, Grandy, and Kill Devil Hills. So we are done with the strawberry dankish. We are going to go to Primitive Custard. Which is phenomenal. Really, really enjoy this primitive custard, which is pretty much straight up vanilla custard. Let's have a toke. The flavor in this punches you right in the face. Just super dense, creamy, buttery, vanilla custard amazingness it's like a vanilla snack pack from uh, whoever the hell makes snack packs you know the snack pack company snack pack yeah it's definitely got like a vanilla pudding custard like I don't even know it's like golden deliciousness it's just amazing it's fantastic the inhale is dense it's sweet the flavors blend very well with these juices. Um, I was a little skeptical about them. You never know what you're going to get, where you're going to get it. Um, and I'm super impressed. This line is great. I, I really like it. I didn't try any of their uh, regular flavors outside of the Max VG line. I just went for Max VG because that's what most people like. A lot of my viewers like Max VG stuff. And uh, with that being said, these are all 80, I think these are all 80, 20 and above. I may be wrong, it might be 70, 30 and above. I think there is a 70, 30 in here somewhere. But the majority of them are 80, 20 and a few of them are 90, 10. And I think there's one or two that are a little weird, like with uneven numbers and stuff like that. So we're going to go on to, what are we going to go on to next? We're going to go on to Blueberry Crumble. And like I said, people, the prices are $10.99 for 15 mil, $15.99 for 30 mil, and 47 even for 120 mils. How y'all doing out there in YouTube land? Y'all been missing me? You love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? I'd love me. I'd love me real hard. Man, that blueberry crumble is delicious. It's literally like biting into a blueberry granola bar <laughs> to me with vanilla pudding mixed in there. This tastes like 
Fresh blueberries, vanilla pudding, and granola to me. It's literally like a blueberry Greek yogurt with granola in it. Awesome all day vape. Definitely a morning vape if, if you like yogurts and stuff like Greek yogurts. This has a blueberry, vanilla custard, granola, Greek yogurt flavor to me. Blended super well, super dense, nice and sweet, nice balance. Fantastic vape. It is delicious. Don't forget that website, www.outervapes.com. I'm going to leave that in the bottom so you can just go boop and go right to it. Check out the order form. It's got a nice format, nice setup. Um, it uses the same format that a few other companies local to Maryland. Um, they have the same setup program for how they do everything. It's very simplistic and easy to read and figure out. It's not hard to order. All right. I do have a juice line coming up uh, from a company called Vapecraft Incorporated. And with that review, they gave me a discount code to uh, give my viewers for I think it's five percent off your shipping order so we'll get to that one I believe tomorrow night I'll go over those three flavors that I got and if you like them please order from them ordering from them using my discount code is going to give me more flavors to review for you all to know about so don't forget to do that we'll get to that tomorrow right now we are on the outer vapes we are going to do the Oliver's Twilight, which is the kiwi, strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, and whipped cream flavor. This is one of my favorites. It smells delicious. It smells like a bowl of fruit. It is super foggy in here today. I guess with the humidity in the air, all my vape is just chilling. Like, it's hard to see in here. I'm sure you can see how cloudy it is around me. Actually, all the vape is over here. On the inhale, you get like a strawberry kiwi Jolly Rancher flavor. You get little hints of blueberry in there and little hints of pineapple in there. You get a nice creamy whipped cream flavor throughout the whole vape experience from the inhale to the exhale. This is a definitely a hot day summertime vape type flavor. It's, it's an all day vape. These are pretty much all all day vapes except for like one or two of them and that's like the citrusy ones that are uh, going to be in the other review. And that, that's just me, that's my personal preference. Uh, I don't really vape a lot of citrus, like, all day, because they're just too harsh. They hurt my throat a little bit. Don't call me a bitch or anything. Because I'll hunt you down. And kill you like the dog that you are! You heard? You dig? But yeah, this is just like, actually, it kind of almost like a bag of Skittles, really. kind of tastes like almost like a bag of Skittles. And then we're going to get on to the dragon tail, which is said to be dragon fruit, but to me, this tastes like I am eating Smarties. Straight up, this is my favorite vape out of all of them, is the dragon tail. It literally is spot on to eating Smarties. The inhale is a tart, sweet, sour smorgasbord of fruit. I don't even know what the hell is in Smarties. I've had a couple dragon fruit vapes that tasted like shit. Um, and I've had dragon fruit. This tastes like dragon fruit. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm guessing that possibly is in Smarties. Because this is spot on with Smarties candies. From the first bite to the sour tartness to the fruit explosion amazingness. This is spot on Smarties. It's fan freaking fantastic. I love it. The best one. It's just amazing. Like the inhale is just a sweet tart Smarties flavor. It's just 
out of the world, people. It's out of the world. And there's a bug. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. And I scratched my face. That's pretty gross, but whatever. Ew. 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 Anyway, people, that is the first five in the Max VG line out of ten that I got. I will do the other review in a couple days. And I hope you all got a little bit of info on these and flavor profiles out of me. They are an awesome company, a great family of employees and owners. Awesome setup shop, very clean, very nice and neat. Kind of like a tiki lounge setup right on the freaking beach, literally. You can see the beach across from them. Great people, love the shirt, love the juice, love the hospitality. They were very cool. I hung out there a few times throughout the week that I was in North Carolina. And like I said, check them out at www.outervapes.com. Prices are $10.99 for a 15, $15.99 for a 30, and $47 for 120 mils. So, with that said, you all stay classy on the other side of the YouTube looking glass. And until next time on Vaping with Mr. B, you all keep it son of a beach. Yes, keep it son of a beach, people. Son of a beach. Deuces.